14, and he's looked great through two games. Alley-oop on the way and dropped it off the glass. Who laid it in on the alley-oop, but still a good start for Rutgers. And a tough look off the glass by Jalen Ray. Bullet pass inside to Mulcahy, a pass for his point guard. There's Ron Harper Jr. in the corner. He goes splash. And he continues to stay hot. David Green swirls one out of the rebound out to Mathis. Jacob Young. Wow. A couple of kisses on the rim. <laughs> and one way to beat a, a zone in the half court is to beat the zone all the way down. And Jacob Young just, I guess, confident right now. Not exactly a one-on-three that Pico likes, but got it done. Already a couple of those for Ray today, and, and he's now in the top 10 all time in Hofstra program history for three point shot. Was blocked by Miles Johnson. And that is where Jacob Young has just been so dangerous to run some clock, and then they're going back into that 2 3 zone. But Jacob Young is really playing well. Yep. Okay, he inside yep. and the dump off to Amori. I can't say it enough, Chris. The guard inside has it poked away. Ostra on the run out, softly laid in. That's some three point capabilities as they're trying to get him open. Shot clock down. Harper Jr. hoists it up and drops it in. He can bail you out late in the shot clock. Ostra just barely able to keep it alive. Silverio swatted away by Johnson. Keeps getting longer and longer for Hofstra. Mathis. And one. Miles Johnson swats another one from Caleb Burgess. The pause by Paul Mulcahy, Ben. Jacob Young puts it in. That's a great start for Rutgers offense. I, I am shocked to be completely honest, Chris. I thought I'd never see that from Murray, but he's going to make up for it. He sure does. Zero to hero. So you got hung on the rim, huh? Inside to Mathis with the reverse. Making him take that dribble off of the three-point line. Have a little deja vu there. Nice kick from Maury to uh, Harper across the floor. Steve Peichel for Rutgers used to coach on Long Island as well. The other Division I basketball program on Long Island, Stony Brook, was Steve Peichel's home for about a decade, and that's a deep three ball from Tariq Coburn. Yes. I, I, I've got cement in my shoes, so yeah, I would absolutely take that. They try it again, and this time Kramer stuffs it. The dump off to shoot him. All kinds of high octane offense now for Hostra. Silverio lost his balance. Kramer saves the possession. Ten point game. And he's played Kramer. really, really nicely for a freshman. On the blow by Jalen Ray, a skyscraper. Dumped off to Harper Jr. A lot of congestion underneath. Here comes Harper, and one. That's a nice fit of his team is 9 of 44. Shuda blocked wow. from behind by Johnson. That was incredible, and he's showing off the ball handling skills, and another chance to show off at the free throw line. Beautiful kick out to Mathis. For a lot of teams that are really good at home in the Big Ten as well. I mean, you go into Mackey Arena, it's tough no matter what. You go to Michigan State no matter what, it's really tough. And it, it, it's just a byproduct of the Big Ten. It's a clutch shot maker, and it doesn't just have to be clutch late game. It could be late shot clock. He's done a great job with that. Jalen Ray, smooth looking lefty. Scurrying away. Now 22 points to lead all scores on the floor right now as Ron Harper bangs his way inside for a deuce. Wasn't always pretty on the offensive side for Rutgers today, but still a, a convincing win by double digits over a team expected to win its conference this year. Hofstra, 70-56, the final score.